Hi folks, Marty here and welcome back um, to our uh, little Christmas series where we're going to be making um, little paintings of Christmas cards. Um, so in this part four, we're going to be looking at Christmas trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly sketch in just an idea of where I want the tree to be. I'll just do it sag sags like that. It's just an idea of where I want to be with it, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a big Christmas star on the top there. And I'm going to use some gouache later on, but um, for highlights. But at this point, what I want to do is put on some liquid latex. Just save me the trouble later on. But you can paint it in with, go ahead and paint it in the whole thing with Gouache, that star, later on if you want. Uh, but this will allow me the freedom to just uh, sputter the paint around without having to worry about it. Get to clean that um, liquid latex out of that brush or it dries in will be harder to get out later. So I'm just going to dry this off. What I also want is um, behind here I'm going to put in some some um, hills and stuff because what I want to do is I want to drop in a bit of a, a darker sky here and I want to do um, a wee special effect on that with salt. Um, so here we go, we're gonna mix up a nice blue colour for the sky. So I want this to be kind of dark. So that's just some blues there and I'm just gonna take a bit of maybe um, neutral tint. And then just drop out on like that, like so. And then I'm adding a bit of water to it as I come down because I want it just to be a bit lighter, a bit more graduated, like so. And go into that top bit again. Just let that run down. Okay, and I'm just gonna just use some clean water just to run that off like that. And what I want to do is I want to try and take the angle off this a bit. I can and I'm going to mop up any bits that are just too dark by just touching the tip of the brush into it okay so for this effect we're going to use salt so just good old table salt that I'm using here it's the nearest thing to hand um, and just put the odd wee bit here and there don't don't overdo it again, you know. And the key is just to let that let that dry naturally, just to work its stuff. And what'll do is the uh, the salt will absorb the paint in that particular area that it's sitting on top of, and then when you brush it all off. You should get something that looks like snowflakes. I think the best kind of salt to use for this is um, natural salt. Uh, you could use Himalayan or just uh, any kind of crystal salt. That will probably give you a better effect. That table salt's been sitting in the studio for quite a while and um, it's a bit clumped together so I don't know if it'll work or not but we'll, 
we'll give it a wee minute or two just to see how we get on with it. And then that's just a case of just trying to wipe the salt off. So there, there you are, you get this uh, really interesting effect there. So what I'm going to do now is just take off the masking fluid. Don't worry if it's not perfect, we can come back and just fix it up later. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to just um, maybe give the impression that there's some some trees in the distant hills before we start going in and putting some colour down in the, to the foreground here. So what we'll do is we'll get a nice dark colour. In fact, we'll use what is left in our palette there. And I think the darker you get this, the better the effect. So, um, just in case of remembering that you're going to have um, the Christmas tree coming down the middle here, if you remember. So you probably want to leave a bit of gap. So I'm just kind of roughly sketching in um, the areas that I don't want uh, the paint to go on to. So I'll bring the trees maybe up to about here. I'll switch to a smaller brush and then just something like that there. A bit of darker stuff at the bottom. I think we'll work with that. And then what we want to do is go into our shadow colour again. The cobalt blue, alizarin, crimson. And then we'll want to maybe cast a bit of shadow. Like that. So basically I thought stars in the sky and it's between those trees it'll probably be like that okay and then maybe we can drop a wee bit down the back where the tree is going to be. And then go a bit more, a bit more blue down here. It's always a good way to frame the picture. Spot a wee bit of water here and there. Looks a bit messy at the moment, but when you start um, putting that tree in there, it'll look a lot better. So maybe just soften this up around where the middle of the trees want to be. Okay, I will dry that off now. Okay, so this bit, what we're going to do is we're going to mix up our greens for the tree. So it's the case if you have some ready-made greens, that's fine. Just go ahead and use those. Um, I'm going to make up some of my own here. So I'm going to, a bit of yellow. 
Put a cobalt into it there. And then there's this already kind of dark blue here. So I'm going to put a wee bit of pigment into that just to give that a bit of a darker color. And then um, maybe we'll go quite dark over here. So I just took one of my blacks there and then put a bit of yellow into it just to give me a nice a nice kind of thick color that will be a, a nice thick texture that will be a stronger color. Okay. And then maybe maybe we'll go for a bit of a um, bit of a warmer. Kind of tone. Okay, so we've got a few different combinations there. So we'll start with this one first, and then it's all about just it's all a wee bit random, wee bit hit and miss, and then. Let them merge and blend and don't be afraid to kind of skip bits and so on. And those white bits behind it there, they could almost pass for being snow. Maybe just go in the blue color here. And just hit wee bits here and there. Okay, what we could do here is just do a wee bit of wee bit of spotter. Just gonna put that just gonna put that flat here. Okay, so what I want to do is maybe throw a wee bit of uh maybe yellow in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is switch to a smaller brush now, and I want to get a, a nice dark color here for the tree trunk. What we can do with a dry brush, we can just maybe just push that paint up a wee bit, and make it look like there's some snow gathered against it there, and then some of our shadow color to 
bit muddy. Let's clear a wee bit of space here. Okay, I'll dry that off now. Okay, for this bit, what I want to do is concentrate on that star. And I think I'll make it quite, quite an orangey color, just to make it stand out. So I'll use this color here. And that should sit nicely against that blue. Dry that up. Just feels like it needs a wee bit of red, doesn't it? So I'm gonna grab some red in the pan here and just you know wee berries and stuff here and there. Okay, this is the fun part now. Okay, so this is where we get to do a bit of the old spotter technique and we're gonna get some gouache and then we want this the right consistency. So I'm giving it a wee spray. I want a nice clean brush for this, so. And then it's just a case of using your fingers just to tap the brush. So it's this kind of technique. So as you're flicking the brush, using your wrist and then tapping with the first and second finger there.
what I think we'll do is we'll just get some of that paint and we'll maybe put a bit on the star there as if it's the snow's just gathering on it. That and then we can paint some on the branches. This is uh, where you get to cover up all your mistakes. And all that's left is the signature to go on. And all that's left is the big unveil. So just get the masking tape off. And there you go, there's my um, take on a wee Christmas tree uh, with some snow on it, um, using the old spotter technique. So how about we go with that until I see you next time. And remember, keep painting and take it easy. See you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.